your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi everybody, welcome back. I want to show you this graphic right here because this is hard to believe. This goes back, uh, we're in March now, but this is back into February when we were down, we had highs in the 40s. Can you believe that? And look at this, uh, for uh, quite a while now, over two weeks, uh, we've seen 80 or above, including 95 degrees, and today was 88 here in Corpus Christi. Look at all that red on the map. That represents above normal temperatures as well. So 68 and 88 today, no rain in the deficits. It's moved up to over two inches. Beautiful blue bonnets. They're still uh, going strong out there in spite of the lack of rain. But a couple interesting things. we get the full moon coming up tomorrow night. Daylight saving time. Uh, that's not a good thing. March 12th. Uh, we lose an hour this weekend. We don't save anything. We lose uh, on that deal. So I don't know why they call it that, but it just doesn't sound right to say daylight losing time. But And then spring begins March 20th, but we've had spring weather, obviously, from that map for a long time. 82 degrees right now. Southeasterly winds at 23, and temperatures around the region as high as 90 in George West with uh, 78 in Ingleside, 71 over in Port Aransas and in Flower Bluff near the cooler water. Upper 60s tonight on our hour by hour forecast, a southeasterly breeze generating a little bit of fog, but keeping it uh, at a minimum. And then 80s tomorrow with a southeasterly wind and morning clouds giving way to afternoon sunshine. This goes up to 2 o'clock right here. The higher will actually be about 4. Satellite and radar shows sunshine here, front to the north, staying north for now. And uh, we won't see any major weather systems here until the end of the week. And by the time it gets here, it'll only be a minor system. In other words, a weak front. Drizzle and uh, low clouds and fog in the morning. And uh, that'll give way to afternoon sunshine, except right along the immediate coast. We'll do it all over again on Wednesday. Morning clouds and afternoon sunshine. Sounding like a broken record. 60s for lows and 80s for highs for now. So here's that little front coming through here. That's going to be on Friday. And look at the rain. It's not going to be hardly anything at all. The last week that front was looking a lot stronger, but now it's going to wait for this one, the second one, on Sunday night into Monday that will generate a stray shower as well. But only a stray shower. This isn't going to resolve anything as far as your grass or your yard uh, or your foundation needing watering or our water supply. But that's what's going on. You can see right here on the moisture tracker, pretty dry. We get to Friday at noon, and again, you can see a little bit of moisture coming through here, but that's about it. And then uh, it kind of hangs around here for Sunday night, and then the drier air comes in Monday and Tuesday because of this upper level low. Again, this has changed a little bit. It's not looking as strong as it did last week for the colder air, but you can see how that low moves over here. That gives us a, that secondary front on Monday, and that will definitely cool us off. So lows tonight will be in the upper 60s. Nothing cool about this at all. Very mild with some inland fog, and highs tomorrow reach 88 here, 89 in Robstown, 90 in Alice, sunny, breezy, and unusually warm, and also dry with a seven-day forecast that has 69 tonight, 88 tomorrow, then 67 and 89. Outstanding spring weather here, 67 and 86 Thursday, only 80 with the front and a stray shower on Friday. That's it. I even uh, hardly uh, hate to mention it. We do drop back a little bit, mostly cloudy here on Saturday, and then we warm right back up with sun and uh, wind on Sunday. And Monday, we start to cool off again, but again, a mainly dry front. All right, that's a look at the forecast for the next seven days. We'll turn it back over to Michelle.